Well, you got to have some morals and principles as you go through life and you got to stick to them. And you got to kind of honor the relationships you've had that have helped you get to the next level. Now, some of you might disagree with me. Don't, don't get me wrong. Meek Mill is self-made. I've seen him on DVDs and everything rise to the level he got to. But then he kind of stagnated at a certain level, right? And, you know, Drake and stuff like that kind of helped him get over that little hump first with, you know, when you have the, the amen, amen or however you, however you pronounce it, joint and everything. And then, you know, on the... On that album, uh, when he came home from jail, uh, Rico, that was the biggest song on that album. But another thing that really helped him get to more of a commercial level was his relationship with Nicki and the songs she did with him. Uh, well, the songs she had on her album with him, there were two songs like uh, By a Heart and another one. And then she gave him a banger for his album. And she, he did say he was reluctant to do it, but she talked him into doing it. So now that they break up after a while, he would side with one of her enemies to help destroy her, then, uh, then just, you know, leave the whole thing alone. This is Jordan Tower with JT News. Hit that thumbs up button and make sure you subscribe. Okay, so Meek Mill, one of my favorite artists. So don't get me wrong here. I'm not trying to bash Meek Mill. I just think he makes questionable personal choices sometimes. But musically, Meek Mill is dope. Now, I'm looking forward to his album Champions, okay? I am, okay? He has a song on there with Cardi B. And, you know, he's friends with Amigos and everything. And, of course, you know, he's going to want to do the song with Cardi B because she's the hottest female MC right now, right? But, you know, you kind of got to respect your past relationship with Nicki in a way to where you shouldn't even touch anything that's kind of like a problem there, you know? And that's kind of a fresh issue with her and Nicki. And uh, it's kind of helping destroy Nicki Minaj because, you know, she's like fighting for her uh, presence right now, okay? She's solidified a legend. But, you know, Cardi B's new and you know people always go to the new new for a while you know cardi b will eventually phase out but people do go with the new new for a minute you know and that's what they're doing you know and uh she, she's got like a whole hit team you know it's effortless for cardi b because she doesn't have to write anything or anything everything's just kind of delivered to her she just has to show up be a personality which she naturally is and, you know, she just has to work hard, meaning be at all these places. I'm not saying that it's effortless in that sense. I'm just saying she doesn't have to be creative. She just has to work hard. Meek Mill's kind of adding to that fuel to, just, to hurt Nicki. And maybe he should have just left this whole thing with Cardi B alone. That's just my opinion. And saying, you know, it sh his character shown many times, you know, with Drake. Drake helped him multiple times. And then he decided to call Drake out for ghostwriting with you know drake repeatedly came through and gave you a banger and he does you know we see drake still do that for french montana you know it's like uh the golden boy over there you know so drake was able to forgive him i wonder if drake's going to be on this album i wonder if he all the way forgave him but when someone shows you who they are you got to believe them you know so meek mill deep inside might be this person but it doesn't mean i can't enjoy his music I, and i do enjoy his come up story i'm not gonna lie uh, anyways, guys, this is George Taylor with JT News. Hit that bell, hit the subscribe button, hit that thumbs up button.